Welcome back, everybody. You know, there's a bit of mystery behind a certain fitness phenomenon here in Denver right now. It's not your traditional mystery, but there's certainly plenty of intrigue. You might say it's a blend of good old-fashioned controversy and some pretty unconventional methods to change your life. Do we have your attention? If not, he'll get it in a second. We've been working to unravel the methods to his madness for weeks, and he is none other than Michael Karalchuk. He's been affectionately dubbed as the Howard Stern of fitness, certainly got his own style of raising the bar on fitness, and today he's raising it, and he's raising the curtain on big plans. Welcome back to the show, Michael. Thank you for having me again. So uh, a bold statement by calling yourself the anti-gym. Briefly, we have some new viewers. Tell us what you're all about. Well, you know, I think a personal anecdote is probably the best thing about what the anti-gym is about. My wife, I love her to death. Um, she's a couple years ago became a born-again Christian. The anti-gym for her is not something she likes. Um, what we are about is pushing the envelope, going out to nightclubs, enjoying life, uh, embrace everything. She likes, actually, believe it or not, this is something I'm sure my marketing person would get upset by. She doesn't like to go to the anti-gym because she doesn't like DJs, loud music. She likes to put on her headset with the Christian music. And my wife reads the Bible four or five times a day, likes quiet, doesn't believe in competition, and she thinks vanity is bad. At the anti-gym, vanity is great. Go to a health club if you want your cholesterol lowered. You go to the anti-gym if you want to look great and feel great. Now, all right, and, and this is the anti-gym, I think, is a very good way of describing this. Where did this vision come? Where would you get this philosophy? Where did you say, hey, this is the way to go? Well, you know what? I, I got it sitting down in uh, corporate meetings with a company I used to work for where I was the regional vice president. And all we ever talked about was people uh, getting their money and can't get out of contracts. Ha ha, good luck if you try to. We wrote some of the rules, including myself. Um, outside collection agencies, your social security number, they're gonna, uh, you want to get out of it, good luck. Yeah. No one was ever talking about people changing, looking right. better. And here's the thing, you know, I was an author boy, believe it or not, audience, I was an <laughs> author boy. We were taught, okay, by mom and dad, but Eucharist ministers, okay, vanity is bad. You're a bad boy if you're vain. Guess what? It's okay to be vain. Vanity is sanity. Look good. Why is everybody so scared to look good? Mm -hmm. Look good and feel great. Vanity okay. is sanity. So in Seattle is vanity sanity. You just got back from Seattle for a trip for a possible third location for the anti-gym, right? It was a disaster. It okay, was? okay. You know what? Uh, the numbers look good. A lot of lofts getting built. Uh, then there's this whole surrounding uh, area of Kirkland and Bellevue that Beautiful. is growing. Yeah. Holy mackerel! The people there. Uh, no offense to it's some nice, cool Seattle people, but it's the Puritan uh, ship, okay? They're not ready. When I would tell them, let's drink alcohol, eat carbs, uh, our little tagline, sex with the lights on, or go to a health club and eat uh, cupcakes in the dark, they freaked. They ran for the hills. I knew right away that while our radio show would be a success there, holy mackerel, we would have, uh, we would terrify people. In, in Seattle, you might even say holy salmon instead of holy mackerel. <laughs> but you did true. find San Diego, though. San Diego, San Diego is maybe more a better market? California dreaming, okay? Yeah. California dreaming. See, the, the, the thing about San Diego is you walk around, and the, the, a lot of people would say, and this is usually what I refer to if you go to our website, uh, a bearded lady. Those are people who say vanity's terrible, okay? They'll say, well, look, it, they got cosmetic surgery on their chest, or they've got something done to their lips, okay? That's shallow. Baloney! They feel great. They look great. These people, when I would tell them, listen, okay, you can come to the anti-gym, drink alcohol, eat carbs, and in California with what's going on, including what happened here in Denver, even uh, have a joint, you can still come to the anti-gym and get ripped, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. Look how you reacted, Mark, just now. You reacted, but Denver is a safe city, and so is California. In Rolling Stone and in Good Morning America last week, Good Morning America talked about this issue, and in Rolling Stone, do you know that 80,000 people had uh, uh, medical marijuana prescriptions. Okay. Let's get back to the anti-gym. We don't have to get all political and everything. Um, here in Lodo, you have like 150 people signed up. So why are you going to California? Why are you going to Seattle? Why don't you just open up more locations if Denver's so hot for you? Well, we, we've, got, we've got 150 going to Cherry Creek, and we've got over 400 in Lodo. But that's the, the reason is if I keep going into the markets in uh, uh, Colorado, like Boulder, Colorado Springs, I'm going to be like Kevin Spacey in American Beauty. 
the suburb mentality does not want to listen and does not want to accept vanity is okay. And then those people get more angry. They write my sponsors and my producers. They write CBS and NBC. They write everybody and say, this guy's terrible because I'm sitting on my plastic couch with the plastic around it, and I don't want to change my life. And that's what the anti-gym is about. Mm -hmm. Change your life. You Push go. the envelope. Be on the edge, Denise. Take it to the next Listen, level. Listen, baby, I live in suburbia, now, and I don't have plastic on my couch. Ready. The <laughs> Cherry Creek uh, facility is going to be opening up early April, and, and it's going to be on kind of at the edge. Tell us about the Ravish Room. See, that's our showcase room. That's what we have to show the other markets and what have yeah. you. The, the, the anti-gym in Cherry Creek, one side is going to have adult movies playing. The other side is going to have Fox News. Okay, <laughs> talk about two different parallel systems. We have a girl in a cage, okay, that's going to be dancing. Okay. Happy hours every week, okay? And this is the anti-gym. Denise, look at you're getting flabbergasted because of the plastic couch in the suburbs. Not because of the plastic couch, because you're talking about adult films. And we, we didn't talk that we were going to say that. So anyway, I'm sure it's the future, and you are rocking and rolling here. And I know San Diego is going to be big for you. So thank you so much. Vanity sanity. Thank you. Hi, right, buddy. All right, your workout will be anything but a mystery. Uh, the anti-gym offers an alternative to traditional fitness programs that you may have tried but had little or no success with. There are no long-term memberships to sign, and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can join the original anti-gym lifestyle outlet in lower downtown Denver, the 21st and Curtis, and the new anti-gym is opening next week on April 1st in Cherry Creek North. To get started by calling 303 Two four nine ninety two eighty, or go online to the anti gym dot com for much more information. The anti gym paid for this segment.